Hi, this is Kevin Deal from Upscale Audio, and today we're gonna to talk about feeling good with JBL. What does that mean? This is the L82 Classic. I cannot talk about JBL without having fun. I just can't. You know, I mean, because it's been such an important part of my life going all the way back to when I first started selling hi-fi equipment. I went into the sound room and I got a new guy that works for me, his name's Brandon. And I think he's 20 years old and he's a customer that just loves tubes, you know, and we just said, we gotta hire this guy. Kind of reminds me of myself when I was young. You know, cause I started selling equipment. I started working at my first stereo store when I was, I guess, 19. And I see myself in him because he just loves this stuff the way I do. And I go into the sound room and he's got these things set up and man, they were positioned perfect. I was shocked how these things could disappear and create a realistic three-dimensional uh, vision, you know, and we we're listening to Super Tramp on it. Of all things, I guess he likes Super Tramp. I mean, that does mean that there's a future for our country when you got a 20-year-old listening to Super Tramp Time of the Century. Then I was starting to think about, oh my God, I saw Super Tramp in 1979 at the Forum. That was Breakfast for America. I didn't like that album quite as much, and especially at the end of the concert, because they had dancing vegetables and dancing fruit across the stage. And I was like, uh, no, I'm not feeling it. But I do like Crime of the Century, though. That's a bitchin' album. So we're listening to this speaker, and I go, man, this thing, not only does it disappear, this speaker has real and usable bass. It's an eight-inch two-way speaker. Uh, so look at this bass driver. Boom, right? Look at the magnet structure on this thing. I had to take it apart. The old JBL speakers, not all of them, but some of them used to have a foam edge surround. And they wised up because people get pissed off because that foam would degrade. So now they use a butyl rubber edge surround. So these things are gonna last forever. And just like the JBLs of the past, they have this white cone here. And this is a treated cone. It's got a coating over pure pulp that uh, creates uh, real stiffness without adding mass. So the bass driver is really fast, but if I was to try to make this thing deflect and make the, the cone flex, it just won't do it. Beautiful die cast uh, basket. I mean, big magnet structure. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. It's a one inch uh, titanium dome tweeter and I love that. Now, listen to what I'm gonna tell you. You have an adjustment on the front and it's got a lot of adjustments so you can fine tune this to your own personal taste. But every speaker is going to need 500 hours to break in. So please, when you buy these from us, you know, if you don't love them, you can refund them within 60 days. We'll thank you and give you every penny of your money back. Thank you for buying them in the first place. But you got to make sure you break in speakers because it's not just the bass driver that breaks in. It's also the suspension for the tweeter. And the other thing you got to do is make sure that you position them right. I have guys that buy expensive speakers elsewhere and they'll come to us to help us fix a problem. And I ask them, did the dealer tell you how to position them? No, they just sold them to me. Positioning is everything. I don't care how much money you spend. Don't go spend $5,000 on cables to fix the problem. Spend some time positioning speakers. And you can't do it with a flashlight or a laser beam or a tape measure. It takes two people and we supply that to every customer. Specific instructions, the basic instructions for people that are scared and then we have instructions for obsessive compulsive people and then we give you a thumb drive or a CD, your choice, so you'll know how to get the most out of these speakers. They have a fully braced cabinet inside and I'm gonna show you a picture of that right now. Look at that, right? And I like that. That's why I had to take it apart because I was wondering if it was braced inside. You don't want to hear the cabinet. You don't want to hear resonances from the cabinet. You want to hear the driver. So I was super happy when I took it apart and I saw that. They're an 88 dB efficient speaker. So that means if you got a 30 watt tube amp, it's going to rock your world. Or a decent 50 watt solid state amp. You know, it's not the wattage that counts. It's the quality of the watts. But this speaker is pretty easy to drive. They say it's an 8 ohm speaker. And true to JBL, when they say 8 ohms, they do have a tendency to hover right around there. But I've already told you before, if you have a tube amp 
and you've got a 4 ohm tap and an 8 ohm tap and you buy a pair of speakers, don't pay attention to what the manufacturer says. Use the speaker tap that sounds best because that's how you get the best marriage between a speaker and your amplifier. So, as I said, amazing bottom end, great top end, and the ability to disappear. Now, they have a real walnut cabinet and they have a new grill. And this grill is fabulous because it too has this really nice walnut trim, just like the old days, right? But they they improve the fabric on the front because the old JBLs would degrade from sunlight or smog. Now they don't. So this is a new material that should last you a lifetime and you can get it in black, orange, or blue. I love the orange. You know why? Because it matches my mug that I got when I went to the JBL factory in 1981. Oh my God, that was the most exciting thing. And that's what I dig about JBL. You know what I'm saying? It's not some poser company. This is a company with real engineering and real ability to uh, design and manufacture uh, a product. So, 2500 bucks. I mean, it's a real, it's an amazing value and uh, something that you'll own and will become a classic as time goes on. So look, go to our website, uh, call up my sales staff, they're just wonderful people, put them in your shopping cart. If you don't love them, you can just send them back, it's, it's no big deal. We have no interest financing. We can trade in your old stuff, but more important, we're gonna listen to you and make sure that you get the right stuff. That's what counts, right? Thanks for shopping, Upscale Audio.